Hey guys, Moms Against Medical Bullying. Um, so share your thoughts about this down below. Um, let's read between the lines and um, kind of look into why are they why they're doing this. You know, um, obviously, the reason the oh, the surface reason they're giving is for everyone's safety, right? But we know that's not the real reason. So, anyways, it, um, so it says, uh, unvaccinated U.S. citizens and long-term residents will have to present a negative test taken a day before re-entering the country. The Biden administration on Monday releases, released updated guidelines for traveling into the U.S., including stricter requirements on U.S. citizens who have not gotten the shot as well as some exceptions for foreign travelers. Beginning November 8th, unvaccinated U.S. citizens and long-term residents will have to present a negative test taken a day before re-entering the country, and unvaccinated foreign nationals will be able to enter only in limited circumstances, an administration official said on Monday. Fully vaxxed Americans will have to be tested three days before travel. <laughs> so really, if you do have the shot, you're not getting any more privileges than somebody who is not, in a way. Foreign nationals, the administration announced in September, it will require all visitors to be fully vaxxed before entering the country. But on Monday, outlined exemptions to that requirement. People coming from countries with vax rates under 10% will also have to provide a compelling reason or why they are traveling to the U.S. Like, when is this going to end? When is their little emergency going to end? Other examples include visitors under age 18, since children aren't eligible yet. Which, right, they're about to be here, I guess. Huh, 5 to 11, right? Uh, previously, all travelers, including U.S. citizens, were required to produce a negative test within three days of travel to the United States, regardless of their shot status. Travelers from 33 countries were barred from entering the U.S., even if they were fully vaxxed. Proof of the vax and testing will be required before boarding the plane, and it will be up to the airlines to enforce measures. So that's the key right there. That's interesting. It's going to be up to the airlines to enforce the measures, including confirming that the record was issued by an official source and meets the CDC's uh, de de definitions for fully vaxxed. So this is interesting. Because the airline is going to have to decide if they're going to enforce. So that's weird. So it's like, oh, is this going to become a law now? Or <laughs> just some arbitrary rule? The airlines can decide what they want to enforce. This is crazy. The official said the U.S. will accept any of the faxes approved by the WHO, and even if they're not cleared in the U.S., including Russian and Chinese faxes, which have limited data, blah, blah, blah. To help the CDC contract tracing, airlines flying into the U.S. will be required to keep on hand contact information to be able to follow up with air travelers if they're potentially infected. So yeah, that's all bad. Look at this lady's name, Shanny Pet Shannon Shanny. <laughs> Shannon Petty Piece. That is a weird last name. What do you guys think about this? Um you know, on first hand I think it's awful, obviously. <laughs> because uh, God created this place for us and they're trying to destroy it and tell us we can't go places and be controlling over us. Um, you know, maybe it's days of, um, you know, tapping into that immortality through Christ <laughs> and, uh, you know, appearing places, not needing to use airlines. Or, you know, maybe uh, other people will develop airlines that will decide not to enforce these arbitrary rules. Because they did say it's up to the airline. So, I don't understand whether... It's kind of like 
double speak. They say the Biden administration unveils these requirements for travel into the U.S. And then they're saying it's up to the airlines. So which one is it, right? What do you guys think? Um, post your opinion below.